What do you want, Gloria? Hey? What do you want? I don't know. You want to play? You want to paint? Hey? Hmm. I don't know, man. Well, there, what's up, guys? As you can see, uh, so far, so good, as they say. Uh, I think if I had a dollar every time I said that expression, I'd, uh, I don't know, I'd probably have 10 bucks or something. <laughs> anyway, so here she is, man, the 61 Monarch Richelieu, uh, four-door hardtop. I almost did a coupe, but, you know, I mean, look, of all the paintings I think I've ever done of cars, this is the one that probably represents me the best. Why? Because, as I mentioned in part one, Anybody who's not familiar, even though you guys specifically are familiar with these cars, this is a Canadian version of the full-size Mercury Mon Monterey or Meteor. And um, this is, I guess you could say in a way, it's ugly cousin or cooler looking cousin as the Monarch, the Canadian version, 1961. And, um, you know, and I, so I did that, right? The 61 Monarch, a weird, almost ugly ducking, duckling, kind of like me, but unique, pretty much. Uh, I, I did it in brown, <laughs> which I was I was thinking before I started filming. I'm like, that's what's the color people hate? What's the colors people have always hated the most on cars? Brown, green, orange, and yellow, and maybe purple, but that's that's a rare one. And uh, happened to have some uh, <laughs> late '50s, early '60s instrumentals playing here on. Uh, I'll give them a plug. They're called IQ Radio. A lot of people know about this internet radio. It's terrific. Anyway, it's better than listening to fucking Shom FM. <laughs> so, um, anyway, um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know, put some fucking more original music on there. Anyway, so here we go, part two of the, uh, the Monarch painting, and I uh, drew it out, as you guys saw it. Uh, no problems, you know. Uh, I just painted all that pavement, but I might try to do something else to do it. I don't know what I just, you know, every time I do a painting of a car truck, look, look, okay? There's the Chevy uh, Stageway, our booster, with the Boeing. Nothing special with the pavement. The 58 Plymouth, nothing special with the pavement. Right? If you're going with this. And not much, a little bit more going on here with the Peterbilt, so I'm, I want to... Let's just make this with like more, a little more depth, you know. Um, since the streets have often been shared. Gloria, what do you want? What do you want? I'm not giving you a food. No, eat your food. No, and and no snacks or treats. Va manger ton manger là, and I give you the food. So, uh, as uh, the uh, once. Uh, uh, CJD radio man Peter Anthony Holder used to say, it's just tickety-boo, just tickety-boo. Oh yeah, how about this, just trolling by my window just to give you guys uh, an idea how a lot of old school types are in my neighborhood. Well, there you go. Meow. Meow. So anyway, uh, yeah, my uh, old uh, worn out uh, suede jacket that my I got one after my grandfather died in 2005. This seems to be fitting with the painting. And uh, anyway, so it's a four-door hardtop, and uh, it's a rare car, and I, I haven't ever even seen one. And uh, so it's a pleasure. It's an utmost pleasure to draw this. Also, not just because it's it's another thing that's also it's like me. Besides it being brown, it's kind of ugly. It's a four-door. It's different. You know, it's just different, like I am, and uh, and I'm proud of that. And not only that, it's as I'm as I'm proud to be Canadian. I'm proud of our Canadian automobile history. So um, yeah, that's about it there, and uh, hope you guys uh, hope you guys dug it there. I'm gonna start working also soon on the the very old building in the background. If you watch part one, I'm gonna be using a building from right a block from my place. So you see my streets out there. So the street behind me is there, and the other building that looks really period correct, let's say like this car. Well, it's it's gonna be in the painting. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's it, man. So hope you guys dug it. Take care. Bye-bye.